morning guys so today i am back with my winter morning routine so this is actually filmed the day before i closed the office so it's a pretty chill morning routine like i don't have too much going on and this is how i'd, I'd kind of like my morning routines to look every day so on a day like this i would usually start off with bentley waking me up he's a really good boy and he wakes me up at quite a reasonable time probably like half past seven and the first thing I do, which I've been trying to cut back on, is check my phone to make sure I've had no text messages or anything like that. But the main thing I do is check emails because obviously running a business, you do need to keep on top of things. So the first thing I do is check my emails, reply to anybody that I need to because I do usually wake up to quite a few emails that need to be responded to urgently. So that's the first thing I do. And I do have a cheeky scroll through Instagram, but I mainly do try to catch up with people. I text some friends, reply to emails, maybe check Facebook. It really depends, but I will have a cheeky look on Instagram while I'm there. Something that I've started doing is I'm trying to drink more water. Well, I don't drink water and I know this sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I can't drink water because of the taste of it. It literally makes me feel sick. I know that's ridiculous. and I've been trying to fix it, but I just can't. Um, so I actually bought this. I think it's a two liter bottle. I got it from Home Bargains. It was really expensive and I tried to drink a full one of those a day. So once I've had a big swig of that, I just jump out of bed and start making my bed. I make my bed every single morning. Here's a top tip for you. If you want to have a productive day and feel like you've accomplished things, always start by making your bed. It just sets the day off on the right foot. It makes you feel better. It's just nice knowing that your house is nice and tidy, isn't it? I absolutely always make my bed, whether I'm in a rush or not. If I don't do any other housework, this is the first thing I do. It's so important. Once I've done that, I head out and I head straight downstairs because I don't like lingering in my bedroom because the longer you stay in there, the harder it is to leave. And of course, I take my water and at the moment I have gym legs because I went to the gym the night before and I was in so much pain. And here's me being absolutely ridiculous. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. It's now only 13 sleeps until Christmas. Are we ready? I'm counting. Me neither. Alexa. Put some Christmas music on. Here's a station for Christmas music. Christmas music on Amazon Music. The first thing I do when I get to the kitchen is make myself a cup of coffee. Today's video is actually sponsored by The Match Reserve, a brand that I've been loving and using for months now. They have a range of superfood powders, like the ones I'm showing here, that are incredible for your health. Some of my favourites help fight stress and boost energy, which I really need. I've recently been on a bit of a health kick working out and trying to be a little bit more aware of what I've put in my body. Another favourite of mine is their ultra premium ceremonial matcha that I like to add to my smoothies after I've been to the gym of an evening. I really recommend trying these out. I know a lot of people's New Year's resolutions will be to get fitter and healthier and this is a really good way of heading in the right direction and it could make a really perfect gift too. But yeah, if you guys are interested, I will pop all the links in the description and discount codes and stuff like that so you can go check it out. I really, really recommend it. I've been using their products for so long and I really do believe in them and know a lot of you guys would be interested in them. The one that I'm using today is the Organic Cordyceps Powder and I just add it into my coffee, it's so easy. It doesn't affect the taste at all, but you get all the added benefits from it, so I don't know why you wouldn't use it, it's literally amazing. I've recommended it to all my friends and I've actually bought my friend the matcha powder as a Christmas present because I know that he would love it. But yeah, I really do recommend them. Like I said, the links and everything will be in the description for you guys to check it out as well as discount codes, etc, etc. So yeah, be sure to check these out. They're absolutely amazing. After I've made my coffee and I'm waiting for it to cool down, I'll make myself some breakfast. My breakfast really does depend. Sometimes I'll have scrambled eggs with bagels and cream cheese. Sometimes I'll have cereal. Sometimes I'll have a smoothie. It really just does depend. But today I had some cinnamon cereal and quite a lot of pineapple because I've been trying to eat more fruit. As I said, I'm trying to be more healthy at the moment. My fridge is like 90% fruit. So as this was the day before I was closing the office for Christmas, I just replied to as many emails as I possibly could. I tied up all the loose ends, but luckily I'm quite organised, so I'd had that pretty much done, so I was just wrapping up a few campaigns and things like that, and then making a few notes for the new year, but it didn't take me long at all. After I'd finished doing that, 
I, can you see how cute my 2019 planner is? That's adorable. I got it from TK Maxx, if you were wondering. After I finished doing that, I grabbed some Christmas presents because I had a few little bits to wrap. So please don't look. If you're a family member, don't look right now because I'm sure you're about to guess what's for you. So I went straight into my lounge and went and wrapped up some Christmas presents because is it really a winter morning routine if you're not wrapping Christmas presents? That's the real question. So I just wrapped some presents up and it was actually, I was preparing Chuck's birthday presents as well. So I popped some of those in a bag and that's what I did. Very festive, very festive. After I've done that, I headed upstairs to go and have a shower. I didn't need to wash my hair because I'd had it in pin curl, so it was pretty much, you know, ready. I just blow dry my hair and pin curl it, so if you'd like to see that in a tutorial, let me know. But once I was out the shower, I headed to my bedroom to do my makeup. I've got a very, very, very different makeup routine at the moment, so also, if that's something you'd be interested in seeing, then just let me know because it's very different to what it used to be. It takes me about five minutes, if that. Um, it's really fast. I don't wear foundation anymore. Um, so yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that. It's very different. I use a lot of different products and it's just a lot more natural and a lot more me than I used to do my makeup before. So if you'd like to see an everyday makeup routine, do let me know because it's very, very simple. Once I've done my makeup, I just got dressed. I was actually going to a birthday dinner this evening, so I popped on this blue polka dot dress that I absolutely love and some black heeled boots with obviously some tights because it is so cold in England. And then I just popped my coat on that is actually from Boohoo and my scarf that is from Burberry. And I know that the prints clash. I didn't realize until afterwards, but oh well, what's done is done, it's happened. Um, so yeah, I just got ready to go out because it's, it's absolutely freezing and I was wearing a dress. But that is pretty much it for my morning routine. It's quite simple, it's quite speedy. My morning routine does vary and this is definitely more of a casual, more laid back one. I'm just adding Bentley in the car by the way, if you were wondering. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it for my morning routine. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and check out the match reserve in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.